Local people, local news. Good evening, everyone. New tonight, 15 weeks have come and gone since anyone has seen two-year-old Dior Kuntz Jr. Not only has the toddler's disappearance turned his family's life upside down, it has also touched lives around the nation. Through Facebook, email, and numerous calls, every single week, people from all over have been contacting us trying to get the latest information in this investigation. How the little boy went missing still remains a mystery tonight. Lemhi County Sheriff Lynn Bowerman believes the boy would have been found by search and rescue teams, but that is not stopping family and friends from looking. They are searching near Timber Creek Campground one last time before winter picks up. It is a living hell. It literally is. A nightmare no parent ever dreams will come true. You, you lose sight of who you are as a person. Nothing matters anymore. For Dior Coon Sr. and Jessica Mitchell, a family camping trip is the last time they saw their child. Almost four months ago, two year old Dior Coon Jr. vanished 10 miles west of Ledore at their Timber Creek campsite. Grandpa and a friend were supposed to be watching him, but thought he went down to the creek with his parents. His parents were only away from the campsite for about 20 minutes. You sit and rack your brain day and night. What happened? What and what could have happened? And now they spend almost every weekend looking for any trace of the toddler. There's so much ground to cover up here that we can't say 100% that every mile or every, you know, foot of this place has been searched. Well, we're trying to think of smaller areas that he that that he may have gotten into. But baby Dior's grandma says they need your help this weekend because Mother Nature will soon halt search efforts. With the snow-capped mountains and the you know puddles being froze, it's it, it's starting to get more real that we may get shut out of this area until spring comes. The family determined to find their little blonde-haired, brown-eyed boy. I'm finding you, son. I'll do everything I can, and every till I, the day I die, I'm going to find you. I miss you, and I love you more than anything in the world. And I will find you. I won't give up on finding you ever. We will never, ever stop looking for you, and I pray that if anyone has him, take him somewhere and just drop him off so that we can have him home. Please, I beg you. The family will meet those willing to lend a hand at the Sage Stop gas station in Ledore tomorrow at 8 o'clock. If you believe you have seen Dior Coons Jr., call your local police department. Tips and information can be called into the Idaho Fusion Center at 208-846-7676. And joining me right now is Chris Nesman. And Chris, obviously a lot of emotion in this and a lot of searching that needs to be still done is what they're saying. So how is weather looking for that? You know, it isn't looking too bad. I mean, particularly considering typically this time in October, we've already seen lots of snow, yet not so much this year. And Viper Radar, we've got a few sprinkles in and around the area, and I mean very, very light. Zooming in on the Ledar region, not too bad, not a whole lot going on. And, you know, temperatures, while we are cooling down for the evening, they aren't going to get super chilly for tonight thanks to cloud cover. So you see 46 right now and I have 57 Pocatello. And again, a lot of places are going to stay just above freezing. Average low of about 34 degrees plus or minus a few with light breezes. So for folks who are heading up there tomorrow to help with the search, obviously bring a decent jacket, maybe something a little bit water resistant because you might see a sprinkle or two, but it's not going to be super heavy by any way, shape, or form. And a lot of the reason they're doing this, this search is because of the snow and the ice. You know, I was up there today, and it's, it's already snow on top of the mountains, and there's already ice, you know, where water is already sitting in puddles and things like that. So it's definitely coming. So yeah, it is. they I mean, really it's, do it's, need it's, your help. It's honestly later than is normal. So that is one, you know, silver lining in this, that Mother Nature has been a little cooperative for at least the family members. Okay. Well, thank you, Chris.